Hello friends, we made it to Orlando. We just got to the hotel room. Say hello to one of your favorite people on my vlog. <laughs> hey vlog, it's me, your girl, your favorite. <laughs> it's me. I'm so glad you guys are joining us along the ride. You know who's even more glad? My little sister. She thinks Nyla is her friend. Aww. <laughs> We're all entitled to being wrong a couple of times in our lives. But as Nyla said, we are just getting to Orlando. Really, not even just getting. I feel like the it's hour, the, the so hour, like, bro, we're two miles from the airport. It's whatever. We're just getting to the hotel and checked in and settled. Um, we are about to go to Outback. I was, I haven't found this Puerto Rican place. And then when I was looking for the name again, we stumbled across Outback and I haven't been to Outback in so long. And you guys don't know this about me, but I am a former Outbacker. Uh, <laughs> that's what you're called. I, I had to wear the gingham shirts. So I love Outback any chance I can get it. Um, so we're headed there. Um, tomorrow we have an early day, but luckily our hotel has a coffee shop at least. Praise God. Yes, praise God. Praise Allah. Isn't it like this? Yes, it is. I was trying to think, Alhamdulillah, but isn't it? I was like, I'll, I'll bar, but that's not what I mean. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, good. <laughs> Put your voice track over what I said. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have an early start to tomorrow, and we are going to um, get some coffee, grab some stuff, and then head to the port tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Um, our bird's probably already here. Gotta go. Bye. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'm gonna touch the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the rock. Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors are closed. I felt like bad boy street team. I couldn't work the locks. Now let's go. Take them back to the plan. Me and my mama hopped in that U-Haul van. Any pessimists, I ain't talk to them. Plus, I ain't had no phone in my apartment. Let's take them back to the club. It's about an hour I stand online. I just wanted to dance. I want to take up an hour after I got my advance. I just wanted to shine. Jay favorite line, dog, in due time. Now they look at me like, damn, dog, you what I am. A hip-hop legend. I think I died in an accident. Because this must be heaven. Guess who's on third? Lupe still like looping the third. Here like kids till I'm bitter on the curb. Peach fuzz buzz, but bit on the verge. Let's slow it down like river on the serve. Bottle shaped body like Mrs. Butterworth. But before you say another word. Hello, vloggy vlog. We are on the ship. We've been on the ship for hours, but I haven't talked to y'all. There's just been a lot going on. But let's do a little unboxing. Danielle's mom made us these cute little goodie bags they're so cute who is bothering me so aggressive cute little keychain say hi to danielle it's me and then let's look on the inside i love cards so we got a deck of cards some hand sanitizer a first aid kit. Y'all, one of my nails chipped already. I'm a little annoyed about that. I don't know if you can see it. Um, we got some Sani wipes. A lanyard for our little key card. And a um, portable drinking straw. So I'm going to add that to this. Hydration boost. So it's like, what's that um, brand? I can't think of the brand. It's very popular, but it's like that. And then some sunscreen. So now I have three sunscreens. Oh, I'm so happy because I forgot to get some of this for my for my skin in case I happen to break out from the sun. Ultra healing intensive lotion for extra dry skin. Because if my skin breaks out from the sun, that will be perfect. Um, Sun X 50, so this is sunscreen lip balm, Clorox wipes, 
And then this is for our key pass, our card to put in here and then attach to the keychain. Well, interrupt this program to say this water water look like swamp water. Yeah, I was thinking that when we were docked. I was like, that shit is disgusting. Yeah. Don't and record that. Record something different. <laughs> well, it looks very blue on camera. It doesn't look dirty. Yeah, I, like swamp I, water. I double checked in the video. It don't look like that. But in person, yes, it does. Um, but I'm also going to record other parts of the water when we get to the more tropical places where the water is prettier. Um, and then last but not least, we got a little notebook and some pencils. Just because we play cards. I know. But I don't play spades. I'm sorry. My black card has been revoked. You got Except I'm more of a real nigga than some of y'all, but you know. Alright. Alrighty. There's just some things we are not, you know, efficient at or skilled at. One of very one of very few things that I'm not skilled at. Not to toot my own horn. But anyways, that is everything that's in our little goodie bag. So shout out to Danielle's mom. She also made me um luggage tags so i made some on canva but she like printed them out like on a thing Hold on. i had a cover because y'all can't know where i live or my phone number that's dangerous but yeah i don't really care if y'all know my email address because i will block you but yeah i thought that that was super Super cool. So this is a little. We're having a goodie bag off. Goodie bag. So you can see what my grandma got. Yeah, her grandma, um, Danielle's grandma. So Danielle's mom also made goodie bags. My mom's mom. Did I not say that? Did my I say? Mom. Sorry, her mom's mom. Yes, that's what I meant. Um. Okay. We had a burger from a guy's burger joint, whatever it's called. Muy delicioso. We'll be going back. So we had that before that. I didn't vlog that, but before that, when we got on the ship, we had some tacos. Well, I had tacos. Danielle had a burrito, and I did show you my food for that. But now, I think we're waiting on Kendall because she went to go change her outfit because I think she wants to take, like, some more pictures on the ship, so she wants a different outfit on. But we're supposed to have on our little family t-shirts for the whole day. So, yeah. Um, I probably won't talk to y'all much again today. We'll see. Um, tomorrow we are on the ship, so I will probably be exploring tomorrow and seeing what's on the ship. Very nice ship, by the way. Um, for those who are new here, I am a Royal Caribbean loyalist. I have been on Carnival before and I have fun on that trip. Um, ship, not my favorite, but that's also because I had came from Royal Caribbean. So I expected something, you know, nicer, but this ship is newer and it's very, very nice. Um, so yeah, but am I like stupid? Yes, I am. I was like, how do I open this? Okay. Um, but yeah, I probably won't talk to y'all again until tomorrow, more than likely. Um, yeah. I'm tired, especially because I didn't get much sleep last night. You want to know why I didn't get enough sleep last night? Because my stomach was bothering. It's probably one of the worst stomach aches I've ever had. And I don't know, because I was full yesterday after I ate, but I wasn't full like stomach ache full. I actually think that I had a slight allergic reaction to something that I ate yesterday, but you know, whatever. So I feel like I only slept for like an hour or two at a time. And then I had to keep getting up to go to the bathroom because I felt like I was going to throw up. So yeah, this is the last that y'all will hear of me today. You will hear from me tomorrow. Okay? Wow. Bye. I'm always happy when I'm surrounded by water. The ocean makes me feel really small and it puts my whole life into perspective. It reminds me, okay, I'm this very little piece of this huge earth, and it humbles you and it grounds you, and it, it makes me feel almost like I've been baptized.
Good morning vlog. Happy Sunday. We are eating breakfast. Well, Danielle went to get water. Um, but I'm eating breakfast. So, we will check in later. We're gonna go do some exploring. Danielle says hi. Hello. We're gonna go do some exploring on the 18th deck um, after we eat breakfast. So, uh, we have to go to trivia today. So, we will check in later. since this morning <laughs> and we're both wearing shirts yes we're not naked you guys um we're dressed because we are going to a dinner yes tonight is an elegant night so we're a little bit more fancy you know i did my edges you know <laughs> um, pull that out for you know important types of things and i put my hair up because y'all know i love to wear my braids down but yeah you've been eating good and we're gonna continue have. to eat good we i was about to list off the food but it was going to sound real wide in the back <laughs> so i will refrain from doing that but it's vacation so we're enjoying it. Talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon. Oh, tomorrow we're going to be in the Bahamas. So if we don't talk to you before tomorrow, don't worry. You will see us tomorrow in the beautiful Bahamas. So stay tuned. Bye. Hey vlog. It's a special cameo. Hi. This is my sister. She'd be so pressed for her shout outs. Now look at her. Shout outs, not. Okay. I'm cute though, so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hi. Yes, yeah, she's just here as an extra. Not an extra. She don't even want to speak. <laughs> um, I grab the camera. Outfit, you can do a little outfit of the night. Okay. Here, go over there. So I interrupt what I was doing so that Kendall can have an outfit of the night. Can you uh, turn on the top light? Oh my gosh, I didn't touch those. Okay, so I don't know. Oh. Camera. <laughs> so here she is. And then we're zooming a little pan, a little pan. How about a little commotion for the dress? Now the back of the dress. Okay, now Kendall will leave. Don't be mean. I just thought she was leaving. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, vlog. So sorry for that interruption. We just had a quick dinner time story to tell you. Do you want to put it down? Because you can stand it, put it on the tripod, and then you can just zoom in a little bit and still be sitting on the couch. We're here to discuss dinner. <laughs> so. You know, I don't know if you all have ever been on cruises before, but um, the way carnival cruises specifically work, there's like an assigned dinner place you can go to. Um, like, it's like a standard place. Um, you can just pick what you want off the menu or whatever. Cool. Um, you eat at the same table every night unless you choose to go to another restaurant or just skip out on that particular dinner. Um, unfortunately, we're here with a very big party or whatever, so we had some reservation issues. So we ended up switching from our original table that we had the first night for this night um we should have stayed with our original table <laughs> yes we did like our girl nah mm. however <laughs> today at the beginning of every meal as they do literally at every place you eat at on this ship they were like hey does anyone at the table have allergies and i said that i have a nut allergy and he clarified is it just like one kind of nut or is it all nuts and we said all nuts he said okay cool I felt like he had a little bit of attitude, but you know. It was like, all right, well, she got an allergy, mind you. We took a gander at the menu. I don't even recall it a thing with yeah, nuts being on, on the menu. Let me go in here and yeah, screenshot just in case you want to put it on my hand. 
Um, there was nothing on there. So after that, you know, we placed our orders or whatever. Um, Nyla got a fillet and strip. No, a fillet, fillet and, and short rib, rib or whatever. Cool. That wasn't even that great. That's not even part of the <laughs> conversation. So um, we're eating or whatever. We're in the middle of our courses because you get an appetizer, entree, and dessert. So I think we're doing like our entrees for real. Our server, I don't know his name, so we'll just skip that out. But it will be a part of my criminal <laughs> review for sure. And if you know me, his name is not important because he has an attitude. To the vlog, <laughs> it will be on my review. One thing about it, and two things for sure, I leave them reviews everywhere. I love that data. Carnival will hear from me. But anyways, you know he follows up with Nyla and is like, "Hey, you got an allergy? Do you want to order for tomorrow night?" And I said, oh, because he told me that I could, like, look at the menu and decide what I wanted. And so um, I told him I wasn't ready yet because we I hadn't looked at the menu. So then he came back after I had looked at the menu and I said, oh, I don't know if I, like, really want anything on here or if I'm going to eat in here tomorrow. And I had to say it, like, three times because he was like, you can just order even if you don't come. And I said, but I don't. I don't know. know if I want anything on the menu or if I'm going to eat here tomorrow. Because I also think that's a waste for you to, like, plan food and, like... I'm not going to be here. That's a waste. Potentially. Right? And nothing on the menu for tomorrow has nuts on it. Nothing. But, nothing yeah. I don't think he liked that. And then while I was eating dessert, I don't know if it was his boss. I don't know who that Maybe. man was. He was a supervisor. I read his little badge. It says serving supervisor. He had attitude, too. He walked up to us. <laughs> this is not my first carnival cruise. He said, I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are aware. But let me let you know. There's a plethora of other places you can eat on this ship. He started naming all the places you can eat on the ship. We were like, okay, thank you. Th thanks. And he was like, at these certain restaurants, the first time is like $8, which we already know. No, it's free. Uh, I mean, free. And then every time after that, it's like $8 or whatever. And we were just like, okay. We was like, okay. Cool. We was like, mm, we never had nobody tell us to go eat somewhere else. And I've been on several cruises, and that has never happened to me before. I've been on Carnival and Royal Caribbean. That has never happened to me. So, you know, after we were politely told <laughs> to get the fuck out of here, to eat anywhere, <laughs> anywhere but at that table, you know, we was like, oh, wow, that was off-putting. You know, the whole table laughing and kicking for about 10, 15 minutes, <laughs> crying, still eating the desserts that we had uh, recently received. Our original server got the nerve to come back talking about, is you ready to order for tomorrow or not? <laughs> we're like, what? Thank God we got our food already, because who knows? They was going to spend the nuts all for the inconvenience. And now they didn't even bring her EpiPen downstairs to yeah, the table. She has it with her. So we was like, oh my God. Like, I brought it yesterday, but I didn't bring my pouch, so that's why I didn't have it on me. So, long story short. I feel like this is relatively short. They it's only the been niggers, six minutes. You can't eat in here. Well, they told me. <laughs> they, they asked if we were sisters. Are we twins? Yo, are we going to be together? Do I got a nut allergy too? You never know. So, you know, because we had that not so warm diswelcoming, um, you know, we were just trying to think through where we want to eat in the future. Um, wish your herb was here because she'd have got a kiki on that one too. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I just feel like I wish we had brought the camera downstairs because then you all would have been able to see it live. Like, because I think there's no way for us to convey <laughs> how unwelcomed we were. Um, like, never eat here again. Hope you're not hungry. <laughs> like, wow, there's pizza till 1 a.m. You don't need this. We already got late dining. We already got late dining. So it's just very interesting that that was the attitude that we received from not one but two people. Over a little nut allergy, yeah. like, dang, it ain't nothing exotic. And My, I, first of all, nut allergies are very common, but, like, too, I, like, our server yesterday was so nice. Shouldn't even mention it again. I think this man was so mad he had to bring Nyla food out for <laughs> Mind you, again, nobody at my table. My little sister got in that I also didn't ask, like, to give me my food first or none of that. You have an attitude, sir. Why are you acting like I'm inconveniencing you? You asked, did anyone have an allergy? <laughs> and there was nothing special about what she ordered. It was regular standard stuff off the menu. There was nothing that needed to change. Somebody might have to change a glove in the bag. They should have been changing the gloves anyway. Anyway, the gloves should have been changed. My mama in tears laughing. <laughs> My stepdad looking down, feeling shamed because we getting berated. 
about Nyla not picking her menu items for the next day. So, you know, I said all that to say, you know, we might have one of them options he presented to us. Um, but I don't even think we should give them the satisfaction of not serving us again. I think she needs to eat a beef wellington tomorrow or something so that he can really just be like inconvenienced by this because again, we looked at the menu. He's gonna be like, this bitch is back after she says she didn't want it. After she, I asked her seven <laughs> times what she was gonna eat today. Um, yeah, and so I already don't even want to be <laughs> on no more accessible cruises. No, edit that part out, edit that part out. I don't, I'm not sure that I'll continue my time on Carnival as a brand um, in the future or just future cruises in general. I'm glad we can laugh at it because that shit was so funny. And I just want you to see how weak Nyla is. She's still wiping tears off her face. We was like, oh, dang, they're going to have us off the table by 9.15. By 9.15, we're we back in the room. We were already here. They were trying to get us the fuck out of here. Yeah, and all of this oh. is because Nyla had the nerve to be born. With another right, allergy. I can't control that. And like I said, there, there were asked. There were no special requests made. Nobody on my table had anything with nuts. Um, again, tomorrow I don't even got nuts on the menu. Um, very interesting. Tomorrow I'm gonna tell them I have a dairy. <laughs> so we'll follow up then. Thank you guys. We'll check in later. <sighs> Bye. That was. <laughs> <laughs> oh! The sure cameo. Stop crying. <laughs> it is recording. I'm not on the vlog. For real. I'm at home. I'm not on the vacation. Okay, African boys. I was actually being oh. a praise dancer. Oh. That's what that was. Oh, sorry. I was in an African American praise dance team where we did stuff like <laughs> If I had anyway, a long white guys. skirt. I know. I talked about your Christian girl skirt already. <laughs> Don't but yeah, I'm, like, I'm not on a vacation, but I love you guys so bad. I had a really great weekend, if you were wondering. Oh, how was the sleepover? It was fun. Do we need to turn um, off the camera? Yeah, turn me. Well, bye, vlog. I miss you. taxi cab drivers to just take us around give us a little history of the bahamas we went to a rum distillery rum factory and i've been here before when i went to the bahamas in 2017 but it was cool to see it again this um rum factory is actually on an old plantation um so it was really cool to learn about the history and learn about it from a black person and you know them not telling the white man's history and telling what actually happened and then after that we went to the we had to go get us some um beef patties every caribbean country or i feel like almost every country in general but especially in the caribbean and in central and south america everybody got a version of a of a empanada beef patty meat pie whatever and they always laugh so we have to go to the hood and get us some beef patties <laughs>
Hello, you guys. Quick check-in. We, uh, well, we're still in the Bahamas, but we're back on the boat now. Um, we are getting ready to go probably get Guy's Burgers, and then we're going to go to the pool, and Danielle's going to get on the water slides. I am going to get on the water slides. Are you going to, are you bringing your clothes toed shoes to do the, the course? course, or are you going to no, do that No, it's only time? one activity at a time. There's okay. another day at sea. Um, it's really technically, like, practically day two for real. Um, but I know my family, we just, we are, we are water slide adventure people. So we're going to do that. But yes, we're getting ready to go to the pool. Should I bring my speaker or is that ghetto? I don't think that's ghetto. Hello? Uh, Why is this up here? Go away. Okay. Anyways, good morning, you guys. Happy, I don't know what day it is, Tuesday, I think. We are at sea today we were in the bahamas yesterday we're eating breakfast right now um but yeah we were at the bahamas yesterday so now we have a day at sea what are we going to do today who knows we are getting sushi for lunch later i haven't had sushi in a week so it's time um and then let's see what else we get into when we got back from when we got back on the boat yesterday we changed into our swimsuits and we went to guys burgers and we got a burger and then no thank you um and then we went to the serenity lounge which is like an adults only section on the pool or on the ship um there's too much chaps in the other pool why do you not school why are they not in school? And if you talk about my edges, you're anti-black. But, um, yeah. It's the middle of the school year. Y'all ain't got no PTO. And I know y'all can't read. <laughs> so why is y'all in the pool and not in them books? And they make the pool water so, like, murky and nasty. It's cloudy. In there. It's disgusting. However, I don't know if anybody... Ooh, sorry, I just inked. <laughs> <laughs> um... If you've ever been on a carnival cruise line or whatever before, normally the serenading lounge is like a fairly small area. This one is like two and a half floors. This is some exclusive lounge area. I ain't got access to that, but there's like a 19th floor edition of it. Um, but yeah, so there's their own pools, multiple like little hot tubs and everything over there. And it's 21 and up because it's not even just adult. You got to be grown enough to gamble. But yeah, who knows what we're going to get into today for breakfast. I would show you, but no. I'm eating a chicken biscuit from Big Chicken by Shaq. Now, Guy Fieri, my mayor of Flavor Town, he has a pretty big chokehold on the Carnival Cruise line and the experience. But Shaq, that nigga got hands. I'm sorry. He got hands. Not as pretty straight, it's pretty straight. Okay, that's all I have to say. Bye, vlog for now. Ta ta. Ta ta. I'll try and be a good vlogger today. I was a good one yes yesterday though. I think I care more about showing y'all what we do off the ship versus like on the ship because a cruise ship is a cruise ship. But also, I don't know because maybe some of y'all haven't been on a cruise, so maybe I should show more. We'll see. I'll try and be a good vlogger today. Okay, bye. Okay. Hi vlog. It's me. This is. Danielle's dynamic discussions. Okay, this isn't working. <laughs> Sorry, I'm scared to hold you where the light is best because I can't afford to give Nyla a new camera. Um, you know, this is a very chill day. We did start a day early and to think. I don't even want to bring that on here. Never mind. It's cool. I was going to bring it up, but I don't even need to do that. I'm trying to get right with Allah. So, Allah, da -la -la. I don't know how that's right, so hopefully Nyla cuts that part out. But you know, I'm out here on the balcony, vibing. We're about to get sushi. Um, I think it's going to be a chill day today. The weather's really nice. It's like not too hot, so that's really good. It's like very much ocean breeze. I wish I could get some light. Oh, yeah, okay. I got to hold you with two hands because I'm scared. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to say. Oh, look. Up. Oh, you can't see the bird. Can you see it? No bird. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, I would just personally like to say 
I can't wait to compare this experience to my future experience. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Never mind, scrap the footage. This is um, a place that my sister put me on when we were on a previous ship. Um, I actually am not really that big. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't. Let me correct myself because I feel like y'all don't see me eat Asian food like two visits in a row. Um, but yeah, I went to Japan and Korea last year and I really, really got hooked. Um, and I didn't dislike Asian food previously before, but my childhood best friend since first grade is half Asian. Um, <laughs> Danielle doesn't have other friends aside from me and Asian. And I guess her other friends that she knows are not. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay. So anyway, my childhood friends is first grade. Um, yeah, she's Blasian, girl. I know. I know. <laughs> But her daddy got a type and so he married another Asian lady. Anyway, I said all that to say is that I was eating Asian food for a very long time, a lot. And I was just like, bruh, can I get steak and potatoes? Can I, can I, can I, can I get a fork? You know, that's how I was living previously. And so I really was taking a break from that um, cuisine for a while. But anyways, I said all this to say, 2023, I went to Japan and Korea and I really, really loved it. Um, I mean, actually in 2019 when I went to Thailand, I really enjoyed that too. Okay, aside, can we flip it and reverse it? Like, thank you. And I would like to say, do you all think I should do a travel vlog? I don't know, but we need to play bingo. I fucking old people love that fucking bingo shit. Come on, come on now. Anyways, do you all think I should do a travel vlog? Can we take a poll in the comments? And then can you cut this clip and put it in your TikTok so I can take a poll? Should I do a travel vlog? Would you all be interested in something like that? I am a regular girl who has a job and that does like to travel. I don't get shat on. <laughs> um, yeah, I do regular girl travel things. Not everything is, sometimes it's luxurious. Sometimes I'm at the JW. But sometimes, you know, I could do a regular Marriott. Hilton. So, would y'all be interested in that? Would people be interested in that? Is that something fun? Is that a, a niche um, content genre, I guess, of like, I still work, I still balance my PTO, asterisk. Asterisk, I will say, I do currently work at a place with unlimited PTO, but there are some limitations. You know, unlimited on me, unlimited for real to the white man. So, yeah, should we do that? But, we place your order already? Oh, we did, but we'll keep one. You keep? Yeah. Oh, one. Yeah, just one is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but we might order more. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. But anyway, I was over Asian food, but now I'm not over it no more, so we back. That's all I wanted to say. I feel like I've been talking for six minutes, which is a long time. Oh no, some of this is Nyla's uh, order in time. But yeah, we just keep getting distracted with people wanting to know my order. 
Um, so I'll see you guys later. I just wanted you guys to see me because the lighting is immaculate. It's fantastic over here. I like no this give Kyra vlog. This look not nice so very Okay, let me show you what it looked like on the outside. Can you see? Oh, you can't see that good. No, it's not backlit. Can I zoom in? Uh, I don't know how to make it look good. You know, I'm not a content creator. It's seaweed season. Okay, toodles. My hair turned a little orange, a little brassy from the salt water. We're in Turks, by the way. Welcome. Danielle wants to say hello. It's your girl, Danielle. I can't really see right now. Yeah, my eyes are not working, but I just want to say, don't know why we're getting any noise from the allergic to peanut gallery, but alas. Yeah, we just advised me and Turkey with them, with them goons. Um, having a nice day at the beach. It's kind of early. It's only 10:30 a.m., but I feel like it's like 1 p.m. But we're gonna do some more beaching, and then I don't know what's next. I know I need a t-shirt. It's usually a sweatshirt, um, but that's all I got. Sorry, I just got a whole bunch of random text messages. I don't know what that got to do with nothing. But anyways. Um, yeah, we'll check back in later. Bye!
know what you're gonna say. I don't know why my camera woman is speaking. This is a confessional. <laughs> There's been some cold nights on this ship. <laughs> Burr! <laughs> Chilly. I'm rubbing together. We opening up the um, balcony door trying to get a little Caribbean heat in. I'm like, woo, how many layers can I put on? <laughs> Let me put some sweatpants on. Let me put myself under the towel under the blanket. <sighs> you were using a towel. <laughs> Are you being dramatic? I had to. It's not that time right now. Please. Six aft. Got it. Anyways, back to my cold time. I'm like, whoa, it's so cold. Ooh, chatter, chatter, chatter. <sighs> I'm gonna clean my spectacles today. And if you know Nyla, <laughs> you know she got this Kirkland rag specifically for all her eyewear. So I politely grab one of those right under that Kirkland rag. Oh my God! <laughs> what? Your what? Yes. Both of them. She's filming her confession right, right now. But well, I'm talking to y'all now. What do y'all want? What do you want? What? <laughs> Kendall? Kendall. Over here. Kendall. She probably went inside. That's what I'm asking for. I don't know. She's sitting she down right here. here. She, yeah. said, she said yes. We're about to go. But you interrupted us. Okay. Anyways. Cut all that. <laughs> Nyla had a fluffy, and I know it's good as from Renaissance. And if you got anything from that it Beyonce is a good World Tour, sweatshirt. that thing is thick. Hundred something dollars. A perfectly good unused hoodie, folded like we use an Abercrombie and <laughs> Fitch. And you know who shared with that? Shared that with me. Was an island. I literally forgot it was there. It's day six on this cruise. Chatter, chatter. Go? <laughs> I can't even believe this. By the way, ooh, zoom out, zoom out. We are going to build a bear right now. I wasn't gonna say anything to refute her story. It's just I forgot the sweatshirt was there. But there's nothing to refute. Anyways, we're going to. There's nothing to, to refute. This is fact. <laughs> we're going to build a bear. Ta ta! And another thing, while I've been freezing, you know what she been doing? Chewing my gum up. I got a 35 pack because I know black people. But she just like, I, I stole another piece of gum. <laughs> right above <laughs> the hoodie I couldn't have. That's all.
Well, you guys, we are back in Florida. Our trip has concluded. Bye! I want that to be the outlet to the whole video. No, you gotta put your piece of <laughs> Hi you guys, happy Sunday. Don't mind my appearance. I have a tan line on my forehead. Um, yeah, you can see it still. I have a tan line on my forehead from when we went to Turks and I had that scarf on and I was in the water and in the sun. And so I didn't even think about that. I should have worn my bucket hat instead. It created a line. So yeah, don't mind that. My skin's broken out from the sun, but she's getting better. She's going to heal a lot faster than she normally does. One, because she didn't really break out as much as previous vacations. And two, I think my skincare products, especially like my moisturizer, I think it's kind of been helping. So yeah, Danielle's going to be upset when she sees this part because she wanted her bye to be the end of the vlog. But I wanted to formally close the vlog. Um, I had a really good time. I tried to get as much clips as I could and I was hoping that this would be a lot, a much longer vlog, but I'm still really happy with how it came out. There was like a day that I didn't talk to y'all and that was because it was the last C day before we got back to Orlando. And that's because I basically slept all that day because the night of like when we came back from like Turks, I was tossing and turning because my ass is sunburnt. Even though I applied sunscreen all over my body, including my butt, and I also reapplied it, but my ass was sunburnt and so it was like really uncomfortable for me to sleep. So the following day it felt a little bit better. Um, it's definitely better today. It still tingles and itches a little bit, but we're taking care of it. But anyways, I had slept basically most of that last sea day. We did end up going to teppanyaki slash hibachi that night. <laughs> had a really good time shout out to Danielle and her family for allowing me to crash their little uh family vacation it was really really fun um the ship was actually really really nice I've been on carnival before but when I went on my carnival cruise I think that was in like 2017 it was when I graduated from college uh we went on a different ship and it was a little bit older this one is only like 40 44 years old because it came out in 2020. Um, this was Carnival's Mardi Gras ship. It was very nice. It looks very new. Um, very, very pretty. Very nice ship. I had a good time. Um, I am happy though to be going on my Royal Caribbean cruise though next month. Um, Royal Caribbean is the first cruise line that I ever, let's put y'all down, I'm tired of holding y'all, is the first cruise line that I ever um, did a cruise with because it was like my delayed 16th birthday present. So my birthday is in March, as y'all know, I went on that cruise um, in like October, the same year that I turned 16. So that was the first cruise I ever went on. And since then I've been like a Royal Caribbean stan um but yeah i had a great time though lots of laughs lots of fun um but yeah it was a great time and i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video stay tuned for my second cruise vlog um which will probably be either at the end of october if not it'll be up the first week of november because that cruise is like the middle of october um it should be up before the month is over for october i think i'll be able to get it up when i come back but if it's not up when i come back next month it'll be up in november but yeah i'll try to have some content up though in the meantime between like this vlog and that vlog but i just want to come on camera 
let y'all know that I got home safely and just formally close out the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe like always. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye y'all.